we've created a special offer just for listeners of the podcast. You can get the book, A World of Creativity, for a special price of $5.98 for paperback. And the Kindle version is only $0.99. Cents. Go to mark-stinson.com to take advantage of this special offer. Well, my guest is Sonia mm -hmm. of Live Podcast Media. What a great conversation. Yes, and you know what, yes, Sonia? Yes, yes. I'm going to post, even though we're recording, mm -hmm. I'm going to post this live, unedited, wow. this afternoon. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, by, by tonight, we're putting this up. Okay, uh, okay. It's been too good, and you've really inspired me to just put it out there. Tap into your most original thinking. Organize your ideas and create the opportunities to launch your creative work. Unlocking your world of creativity with best-selling author and brand innovator, Mark Stinson. Welcome back, friends, to our podcast, Unlocking Your World of Creativity. And we go around the world talking to creative practitioners of all kinds on how they get inspired and how they organize ideas and most of all, how they launch their work out into the world. And I'm so happy today to have a friend in Bali, Indonesia. And we're talking with Sonia, and her company is Live Podcast Media. Sonia, welcome aboard. Thank you so much, Mark, for the invitation to be your, on your show. But again, thank you so much also for being the sponsor and also the guest expert speaker on my show, Online Live Podcast Summit today. Wow. Well, it you're was doing a really some, great. You're doing some great work. And I thank love you the so fact much. that, you know, mm -hmm. I, I have not gained the, I don't know, either the confidence or the technology to go live. So I'm always, a, you know, one step removed, a little bit editing, a little bit of recording, a little bit of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, tape delay. But you you put it out there live, Sonia, and you're really good at it. I wonder why you, you don't do it. What I mean, uh, come on, you have everything. You have a good mic, you have a good studio. Well, me, I'm only on my uh, camera, uh, what is it, headset. Yeah. <laughs> on the soundproof studio like this. By the way, I'm on the co-working and co-living here. So if you come to Bali, uh, there are so many digital uh, nomads here. You know, they work until late like this on the co-working uh, with the high internet speed. And yeah, it becomes my lifestyle right now to build my brand with live streaming. That's why I'm very happy that you always support me on my uh, journey to success with live streaming to build my personal brand. And that's what I would like to help people with, you know, the especially the entrepreneurs, uh, the business owners, the professionals, digital creators, the content creators, you know, the digital marketers to marketer to build their brand with live streaming because there are so many people out there who do the same thing but this is about how to stand out among the crowds right oh, and to absolutely. be the top leader in your industry yes well let's talk about this digital nomad lifestyle mm -hmm. of yours mm -hmm. this co-living mm -hmm. and co-working and uh yeah uh, yeah uh, even just uh, i i like to have coffee with uh, my guests even mm -hmm. remotely but let's say i was in bali which I hope mm -hmm. to come. But let's say we're in Bali and we're out having a cup yeah, of coffee. Yeah, in September, where, yes. Where, oh, are, where are we going to have coffee, Sonia? Describe your favorite coffee shop. Uh, uh, actually, uh, this is my dream also to have a little coffee shop. It it came true, but then I changed the plan uh, to have the coffee shop here to coffee or just a small coffee, let's call it. My favorite coffee shop is the kind of with uh, many kind choices of tea. Uh, I'm not a barista or bartender, but people say my drinks are really, really nice. I don't drink coffee, but they say my coffee is really nice. I know how to make coffee uh, for sure. But my favorite uh, drink is uh, for the tea, right? And then, uh, of course, I love green tea. If you know the Japanese tea, that one, uh, uh, they say it uh, makes you uh, stay young. Look at me now. I, yes. I still look young, right? So young. <laughs> so, no, well, what I mean is like... I need to start uh, drinking this tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, green, the green tea, I love that, but also chamomile because uh, chamomile makes me... Uh, they say it has the calm uh, side effect to you. But if I want to feel myself, uh, I love the rose tea. At the time, I had my first roast tea in Netherlands uh, on the supermarket there. 
but it was really hard to find here. Even Lipton has no rose tea like that. Only the white uh white uh rose. So it was totally different because I love red. My brand is red. You see, and then uh yeah, I love the red rose uh tea. If okay, it is available, if not, then I'm going to find it uh as best as I can. And then I've just found it some days ago. Of actually, there are so many uh rose but uh for the tea online but i don't know why the smell was very different well i wonder exactly uh the same with what i had in netherlands right uh and yeah sometimes you know even tea can remind you of the moments like uh how life how beautiful life it is something or your precious memory so yeah, tea means a lot to me. Uh, yeah. because I don't drink coffee, but if you are here, I would like to bring you to the tip, uh to the uh tea plantation and also the coffee plantation. But for the coffee plantation, sometimes you have to hike the volcano if it is for the Arabic <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because it is more than one thousand meter above sea level. Not with the robusta, you can find about five hundred uh meter above sea level. Now we talk mm. about coffee and tea, you know. Yes, I, exactly. I, well, I can't wait to yeah. have those conversations. Well, Sonia yes, and I yes. have known each other mm. I, at least two years, maybe uh, more, and we've yes. been comparing notes on live streaming and podcasting, and we have lots mm -hmm. of friends in common in this crazy business. But Sonia, uh, why did you decide to go to Bali and mm -hmm. so decide to build this live podcast media business? You mm -hmm. know, it's one thing to to be a podcast host and, you know, an event planner, but, but you've really settled on this as a career mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. business uh, venture. Uh, tell us about that. Uh, it is true, uh, you know, that uh, people said that you have to do what you love, right? Uh, and this is what I'm trying to do right now because for many years I did everything that I could to make money, right? It is like uh, hustle and bustle every day. It was a real struggle to build a business that I didn't like. Only because of based on the needs that you have to make money fast, you know, uh, to keep up with your your life, and then it didn't make me happy. It it, it really made me uh, depressed. I was a coach also. I was in tourism also. So many things that I did. Uh, I also had, you know, sometimes you have to do what you don't like to do to gain your goal. Uh, only for the first step to gain. Maybe in live streaming and uh, podcasting, it is about the exposure that the people uh, know you and you start to know people. But it didn't make me happy, Mark. So I decided to focus on live streaming and podcasting right now because the more I do it, the more I love it. And, you know, through live streaming and podcasting, I meet amazing people. I meet you also. You are one of them, the very, very, uh, someone that I look up to, you know what I mean? Then, uh, you always support my, uh, live streaming event, the international online event, uh, even though it is still online that we are going to try to make it in September in Bali so that we can meet in person, right? But it's also, uh, the more I do it, you know, it seems that, when you are a host or when you are a speaker that you teach people but that's not the case by interviewing people the expert like you i also learn from you there are so many knowledge there are so many insights values that you share with us uh, and maybe yes uh people do not listen to it now maybe people do not watch it now but there are always uh people who uh send me the message that wow your show is great and then suddenly uh the big brands also start to approach me even though sometimes they are still a uh, new software new program that needs uh attention from us like uh, the influencer but then it is the opportunities that we get from live streaming and podcasting uh maybe i do it in the different way right other people other influencer we review the products or programs right or the software uh to gain the attention of the uh big brands or big companies big industry to sponsor them but uh i just do it i just go live streaming live streaming and live streaming 
and then the big brands come to me uh, of course one one or two i reach them out to offer uh, would you be able to support me as a sponsor for example but now uh, even uh, for the next event in june uh, the same with today uh, online live podcast summit i try to make it every three months for the consistency that is my commitment also uh, to stay focused on the live streaming and podcasting uh, there is a brand uh, that reached me out from uh, LinkedIn. You know, I didn't take care of my LinkedIn. I didn't. Uh, I am not like the other LinkedIn guru uh, who you know uh, promote LinkedIn a lot. I didn't do it. But he reached me out. The CEO reached me out uh, through LinkedIn. Uh, he said that he wants me. Uh, he wants my show. So he would like me to uh, use his uh, what is it? His software. And then uh, I'm going to try it and I ask them to sponsor our event. And maybe uh, I hope that they they will sponsor us on the next yeah. event in June. But definitely I get the pro plan uh, for the influencer uh, for one year. That is amazing, right? Uh, if you, uh, what is it? Confident in my currency, it is a lot, right? Compared yes. with the standard well, of the income or salary because, yes. here. It's well, not and this, a, you a brought up a very good style. point that it's one Thank thing to review so the some. product, mm -hmm. but it's another to connect with the people. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I like what you're saying because obviously, uh, you know, that's kind of my angle too. I talk to mm -hmm. creative people I would have no way mm -hmm. of connecting with if I didn't have a, a podcast. It just wouldn't be the same kind of currency. But, mm -hmm. but I, I would like to know from you, what kinds of people and what have you learned from these people? Do they really stand out? What are some of the either friends or interviews that you've done um, mm -hmm. that really stick in your mind? And have helped you build your business. Uh, one of them, let's say, it is you. Uh, I I told you that you are someone I look up to, right? Uh, you start from uh, the podcast with the medical thing that I don't understand at all. Actually, <laughs> yes, of course, I used to translate the medical books for the medical students, uh, the doctoral students, something like that. But then uh, it's not really my word, even though at that time I love chemistry and I would like to be an apothecician. How do you pronounce it? Apotheci apothecician? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. And then uh, that is because I was an intro. I've been, I am an introvert and I was afraid to face people, right? So I would like to uh, work behind the screen, behind the, you know, the stage all the time at that time. But then I thought that if I stay that way, being a you know shy girl, and I'm not that talkative like this like today, then I wouldn't be successful. Well, here the culture is that you have to speak up, speak up. I mean, not speak up your mind. Sometimes we have to hold ourselves also not to speak up our mind, especially our mind, especially as women. Uh, you know, because of the culture and religion and uh everything here. But then uh, this is the way how I uh, protect myself uh, at that time from, you know, there are so many negative uh, things around me, the environment. Yes. And then uh, it was really hard for me to change uh, myself. Then I learned how to be a public speaker, a public figure. I became a coach. I uh, opened my own workshops at the hotel, you know, then I uh give the presentation to some communities also and then yeah from one uh from one one coaching but at that time my clients were like uh business people also and then uh yeah because the, the and then middle up class uh people because they are the one who could uh pay me right because coaching is still like something new in here like people always ask what coaching is what is coaching and it is totally different uh, in here. Like the people meet, mix the coaching with the therapy, blah, 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 and the yes. consultation. So it's not purely coaching. So I would like to bring the best standard on my work and people love it. But then I handle the people who got uh, depression, you know, because it is also about high performance. 
uh, I was a high performance transformational coach and I made that name also to be different, to stand among the crowds, right? Uh, I had uh, the term uh, life coaching because people misuse that kind of term. So I made my own name, not really hit in the meaning of I had life coaching, no, but uh, people misuse it uh, for different things, right? That's right. Uh, that's why I, I created a high performance transformation at that time. And, and I think that, oh, I want to go international. People all hate me at that time. Many people all hate me. Many people adopted me at that time. Uh, maybe because of my English, you know, that it is not, uh, I always say not American English or Australian English or British yes. English, but Sonia's English, right? That is the first obstacle. And then I didn't have a lot of knowledge at that time about live streaming and podcasting. I thought that live streaming is expensive. You know what I mean? I don't have the proper equipment for that. I didn't have a good mic or a microphone or camera. So there were so many things that held me back, especially also my environment. I live in the very crowded city. And it is like a constant noise for 24 hours. And it was very expensive to rent a studio, like uh, the radio studio like this, for example, yes. uh, about uh, $50 per hour. We can afford that with that kind of uh, income standard in here, right? So uh, wanted or not, at that time, I still had to uh, live stream from a, from a hotel. So you know uh, how expensive it was for me to start live streaming only because of the noisy environment and it was very difficult. Uh, to build our own home studio, very expensive. I couldn't afford it at the time or rent a studio like this. That's why I moved to Bali because uh, you have to face your fears. Uh, I am afraid uh, of the camera since I've been afraid of uh, being in front of camera since I was a child. So, you know, there were so many obstacles, if you call it obstacles, but then I call it challenges because I love then... That. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, this is also about the mindset, right? If you uh, consider it as an obstacle, it is like something that block you, that you cannot break through, right? Uh, but with the challenges, uh, this is how to you challenge yourself to face uh, those fears. Yes. To face, well, and so many uh, times, it, mm -hmm. I mean, you're like a lot of people, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. that we look at these obstacles or challenges mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. say, well, I don't have a studio, so I can't do this. Yeah, I, don't have a I good was microphone. so scared. Okay, that's so, true. But you find a way, don't you? I mean, yeah. even I was thinking about if you wouldn't mind sharing your story about mm -hmm. it's one thing to say I don't have the room, but it's another when the weather and flooding and you know, the yeah. uh, you talk about environment when the environment yeah. very noisy twenty four hours. Even the security uh, staffs on the housing I live on the housing at that time was very noisy at night. Uh, I don't know why they do that. Uh, maybe because of they they just kill the time at work or but very noisy at night. So you cannot even uh, live stream from your room, and that's why uh, the only way was to uh, what is it was going to the hotel because of the stability of the internet was better. Uh, it was very expensive. Also, if you want to uh, uh subscribe the internet connection with the high speed right and also as i mentioned to rent a studio or uh, like virtual office or something like that so it was the only way there so i saw the chance to move uh, to bali during the pandemic uh, after the lockdown was a bit uh, better and then i just uh, moved uh, i i took the risk that way i didn't know what i'm going to face and yeah, it was a very hard time for me actually uh, two years ago, but I made it and here the environment uh, sim support me a lot. There are so many co-working and co-living based on your budget. Yeah, I, I still it is not cheap for us, uh, the locals, right? But what I mean, uh, the facilities are there. If you would like to use it, then it is available for you. Uh, I mean, yeah, then it is like, uh, if you still stay there, then you will be stuck forever. <laughs> but if you move somewhere, then you can see the problems from the distance. That the problem that you've been facing for years actually not that big. 
right? So you, you see from the different perspective, from the distance that, oh, you can solve the problems. If you work hard to, uh, what is it, to solve it, of course, yes. if you find the way out. So that changed my mindset also not to focus only on the problems, but also how to find the possible solution, even though maybe it sounds impossible right now, but when you do it step by step, uh, the path is open for you. That's great. Uh, I believe in that. I Yeah. Well, help uh, us business people mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. maybe the differences mm -hmm. uh, between a podcast and mm -hmm. what you do in live streaming. And mm -hmm. what are some of the just logistical differences, but also how would it apply to different businesses and how could it help mm -hmm. us? Well, uh, when I uh, mention about the mindset, of course, it is about the mindset. Sometimes uh, when I coach the people at that time, it is also because of the mindset that they cannot reach their goals, right? So first first, uh, first thing first, it is about the mindset, how uh, what I do to my what I did to myself is uh, changing uh, the obstacles into challenges, right? And then the second is to uh, move from where you are to somewhere <laughs> that you haven't uh, or you never imagined before. Uh, before I came to Bali only as a tourist for a holiday, but now you have to work, all right? Yes. So not an easy transition, not an easy transformation. So sometimes you have to challenge yourself also to gain your goals. And I think that is the best way also for you in business, right? Like me, I was uh, very afraid in front of the camera, but I faced as fear. And uh, now I meet you, the expert uh, that I adore a lot, that I uh, look up to in live streaming and podcasting industry. You are the expert. And I'm very proud of you, how you can, uh, you know, the tips also today that you share uh, actually, I know maybe it was your secret, but you shared with us how you gain the quality guest expert speakers on your show. That is one thing, right? So, yes, uh, step aside from your uh, comfort zone. Sometimes I need the comfort zone. Maybe yes. people think about the comfort zone as something bad. But for me, there is something uh, very, very, how do you call it? Like, that makes me feel safe. I need my comfort zone. Other people might uh, say, oh, you have to step out of the comfort zone. If you have been on my uh, shoes, what I mean is like I've been facing a lot of adversity in my life for being different, for having different mindset than uh, the people surround me. Then it is not easy, you know, always be challenged every day. Uh, one problem uh, hasn't been solved, but then another problem uh, come because of the adversity that I have been facing in my life. So that's why uh, sometimes I need the comfort zone. Comfort zone here means that you have already gained some things. You deserve to celebrate it. You deserve to get the rewards from your hard work. That is what comfort zone means to me. Maybe it's different for other people. I really but, like uh, that. Because that, that there but, is a, yes. not just a comfort, but there is a yeah. uh, confidence, you know, yes. in being surrounded with the right I environment, agree. but all mostly the right people who can uh, mm -hmm. support you. And then I, I guess I found, you know, people mm -hmm. think I'm an extrovert because it's like, ah, ha, ha. I like to, yeah. but it's like, it's still hard to reach mm -hmm. out, to ask questions, oh. to tell, you know, your story, mm -hmm. uh, to tell your problems. Sometimes mm -hmm. uh, those challenges you talked about, people don't mm -hmm. like to talk about their obstacles and the, no, no. the hard times. This is the first time Everybody I share with you be... what exactly yeah. I yeah. face. Right. And then uh, uh, before, you know, because I always help people and then it is really hard to ask for help. But uh, the last time like, I asked for your help to support me on my show so that I can provide this show for free because this is the crucial time also for the people to learn from the experts to build their business with live streaming and podcasting, right? Uh, you, you, uh, There are so many uh, people who've been laid off from their work. They lost their job during the pandemic and then maybe they don't have a lot of money to start a business, right? 
but we live streaming and podcasting they can start something they can be a youtuber they can be a content creator they can do everything yes so this is how uh, how i see that like this year is a great start when everything starts to be open people start to travel freely of course there are so many people who are afraid oh no live streaming and podcasting will die because the people will be able to meet in person again that's one of that's not what i see there are so many uh what is it uh, opportunities with live streaming and podcasting especially uh also the AI technology is here to help us, not to kill us. So do not be afraid that you are going to lose your business or your job because of uh, the AI technology. But you can build the new business and the new opportunities with the AI technology. I love that. Well, Sonia, it's been great talking you. with you. I want to hear Me more too. about you have an event coming up in June and then you have your signature live summit coming up yes. in September. Tell Ooh. us how we can learn about those and get involved. I'm always happy uh, to mention our summit because, yes, from our summit, again, I meet amazing people like you. You are one of the special people that I look up to. Again, I, I cannot stop mentioning, but uh, in June, it will be the same. You can uh, register to anitasonia.com slash events that. Uh, I haven't opened the registration for June because uh, we are focusing on the summit this week, right? Uh, we are already on day three and there will be two days more. And you have been speaking also today. I, I love that. And then, uh, yes, there will be uh, more in June and you can register or reach me or if you would like to be a speaker. And we need also a lot of sponsor to make it happen. And also we need a lot of sponsor also for the Bali Summit in September. You can uh, look into the website uh, that uh, Mark is going to share, anitasonya.com slash events. So we need a lot of your support for uh, online live podcast summit and also in-person live podcast summit in Bali. I will be very happy to see you there, really. Well, I'm definitely uh, putting a pen on the calendar, uh, just trying to figure out how I get to mm -hmm. Bali. Uh, you know, it's so funny that you say this about living and working mm -hmm. there. You know, I think mm -hmm. we have the impression that, oh, it's all one big resort and it's one big, uh, you know, fun time. People go down there for the beach and the palm trees mm -hmm. and uh, the wonderful lifestyle. But mm -hmm. living and working there uh, must be completely different. Completely different. You know, if you watch the YouTube, there are influencers who are done also because uh, they see uh, Bali as a paradise, right? Yeah, of course, the paradise for the people who have money or maybe about the uh, currency different. For example, the people only can rent a small apartment in New York, but then they live in a villa here with the mm -hmm. swimming pool with that kind of lifestyle. But if you don't work here, uh, how long are you going to, uh, you know, to stand or to stay in your lifestyle? What I mean, yes, it takes a lot of hard work. Uh, but if you do it, I believe that you can reach your dream. Yes, wonderful. And then well, about the Bali Summit, yes, it is please. not only about the conference, but also uh, there will be tours and we are going to have some book launching uh i try to launch my own book and mark is uh going to be on the book also because he is one of the experts that i have been interviewing and then also yes there will be like a barbecue party cocktail party and there will be two additional tours it will be on the five stars hotel even though i try to make it as cheap as possible uh, yes in the marketing is not cheap we call it but affordable even though it is on the five-star hotel, I try to make it as uh, cheap as possible again. Yes. And I'm going to make the coupon code MARK. So if you use the coupon code MARK, you still can get 10% discount, even though it is still early bird price. So do not oh, worry. Or gracious. you can read, uh, and you can uh, read MARK also if you want to uh, register, uh, register to him and pay to him. I don't mind it as long as you are here in Bali. <laughs> What I mean is like, it will be fun. It will be fun. Uh, there are so many uh, insights that we are going to learn. It's not only about 
running away or hide away from your country to the heat uh, or to the warm uh, beats uh, in a tropical country. Not about that, but you will learn to build your business also with the people, with the same minded people who are going to lift you up, who are going to support you also in life and business here. So let's meet at in Bali. Oh, very good. Well, my guest is Sonia of Live Podcast Media. What a great conversation. And you know what, Sonia, before I go, mm -mm. I'm, I'm going to take you up on two things right now. Yes. yes I'm yes. going to post, even though we're recording, I'm going to post mm -hmm. this live, unedited, wow. this afternoon. Uh-oh. You know, <laughs> by, by tonight, we're putting this up. Uh, okay, it's been okay. too good, and you've really inspired me to just put it out there. It's been a great conversation. Also, Thank the second so thing, I'm going to ask listeners, if you've ever thought about being on a podcast, starting a podcast, live streaming, you know, developing a course, an education, a webinar, there's a lot of words that we throw around, but it's basically an audio or video event. And if you've thought about that, I want you to just click one of those links right now. Reach out to Sonia, reach out to me, and let's get you on one of these programs. Let's get you as a speaker. Let's make sure you're getting the kind of networking and learning from yes. the other experts. Yes. You're very gracious, Sonia, to, to say that I've been one of those mentors to you. But I've learned from so many of others uh, that mm -hmm. are in our mutual you know, friend network. And uh, we want to connect you with those people. So if you're listening to this podcast right now and you've said, this sounds like something I want to do, reach out to one of us. And we're going to set you up. We're going to connect you and we're going to get you on your way. Yes. Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah, it's thank you. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. To be on your So, yes, uh, if you would like to reach me out, please do on uh, Sonia at anitasonia.com so I can help you to build your business uh, with live streaming. That sounds great. And I can't wait to have a coffee with you real soon. Oh, yes, please. Tip for me, Mark. <laughs> Very please good. Tip for me. Then I... Uh, I will provide the green tea for you. I appreciate that. Well, listeners, I Thank want you, you to come so back much. again for our next episode. We're going to continue our around the world journeys to talk to creative practitioners everywhere. We're going to tell, the, tell you how they get inspired. But most of all, you'll be inspired by their ideas. And you'll learn the confidence and the connections to launch your work out into the world. So until next time, I'm Mark Stenson, and we're unlocking your world of creativity. See you soon. Unlocking your world of creativity with best-selling author and brand innovator, Mark Stinson. This program was produced by BSB Media, creators of IntelliKey Leadership Stories, Unlocking Your World of Creativity, and ThePeaceRoom.Love. Our podcast is supported by Adobe and the Adobe Creative Cloud, the world's best creative app and services, so you can make almost anything you can imagine wherever you're inspired. We use Adobe to help make this podcast using Audition, InDesign, and more. So join the creative community with the Adobe Creative Cloud, and let's make something better unlocking your world of creativity.